Assalamualaikum, welcome everyone, I am Hendy Irawan and welcome to Introduction to Artificial Intelligence and this time it's Ensemble Methods and we will discuss about bootstrap aggregating. So bootstrap aggregating or that we shorthand call pegging, so it has two parts, bootstrapping and then aggregating. So bootstrapping here means that we can create multiple sample sets or data sets from, uh, from original training data. So this is sampling with replacement. Okay. And let's see that uh, if we can contain uh, some original records in its sample. So let's see, if for example, we have a training data that is three, uh, that is 10, uh, 10 rows, by doing bootstrapping, which is random, select with replacement. With replacement means that we can uh, take multiple uh, duplicates of the original data in the generated training data. So for example, we, generate uh, several baggings. So as, a, as for example, we generate three baggings. So this is bagging number one, this is number two, and this is number three, okay? And if you can see here that uh, the bagging number one does not contain the uh, original data one. Uh, it also does not contain three or four. So it's selecting randomly, but it also contains duplicates of sample data five. It also contains duplicates in eight and also contains duplicate in 10. So you can see that we now have three different training data. So because begging one and begging two and begging three are different, and we can actually generate uh, as many uh, begging data that, that we want. Now we have multiple training data from the original data. So how we do the aggregating here, or bootstrap aggregating. So for each of this uh, bootstrap uh, training data, we will perform training using uh, our chosen machine learning algorithm. So we do training first here, and then we do another training here, and then we do another training here. Because we are each doing training, then that means uh, if we have three training data here, then that means we will have three models. Okay, we will have three machine learning models. And what will we do? Uh, after that, depends if that uh, the problem that we have is a classification problem. That means we will run a majority fault. So the uh, the result with the higher with the highest number of votes from these models will uh, be selected. And for regression, what we do is that we average the score. Uh, because the output of regression is a number, so we average the score of all of the models here. Okay. So, um, yeah, just a disclaimer that the begging samples here is sorted. Okay, so this one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, this one to ten. Just to make it better visually, it uh, two, five, five, seven, but actually. In the real world, this, this can be like seven, five, five, two, one, three, and so on. So it does not have to be sorted yet. So it's it's much better to make the begging here completely random. Okay. So this is how uh, begging works or bootstrap aggregating. So from this original data set, we will create several random subsets of the data. And from that, 
we can create a model and then from that model we can do a prediction using each of the models and in this case this is using a decision tree here so we can have multiple id trees and the results will be aggregated using either the majority fault or the averaging and then it will result in the final prediction okay so let's take a look at an example so this is uh, the original training data set okay and what we want is that it can classify the the points here so the input has two attributes x1 and x2 and the output is actually the color okay can be colored for example the uh, blue one means color zero and the red one means color one so just by intuition we can see that the way you classify this is you know it looks like a, a ellipse shape here and by using the ellipse shape then you can determine whether the uh, result of the classification is blue or red or zero or one okay but what happens if we are using a decision tree okay so if we are using a decision tree uh, because the uh, the model for the decision tree is not complex so we can see that okay so the model can classify like this so can you imagine that the accuracy is not very good because for example if we have a a uh, point here or data set here this will be classified as blue instead of the correct one is should be red right because it's inside this ellipse but if the data is run here yeah they will be correctly uh, classified and also goes for the blue if the points are here they will be class correctly classified as blue but if the data is here then uh, our decision tree classifier with classify this as red, uh, which is incorrect. Okay, which is incorrect. So let's see if we are using uh, begging. Does that will increase the uh, accuracy? Yeah. So after we are using begging, so let's say that we. Uh, we do begging, we bootstrap 100 training data, and then we use, uh, we train the ID tree or decision tree algorithm. Then what happens is the shape of the uh, vote will be like this, okay? The shape of the prediction. And as you can see here, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect as an ellipse, but it's getting so much better yeah, it's getting so much better so what the color here means is that for the red part here that means the prediction for the 100 models uh, they are voting for red and as you can see it's definitely true and for the blue part here then all of the 100 models voted for blue however in the in the intermediate parts here you can see that some of the models think it should be blue and some of the models think it should be red so the, the inaccuracy can be in this part but then it's still much better than uh, just one model as you can see here the shape more closely resemble the shape of an ellipse. So about begging, so 
So begging will reduce variance by averaging, and begging also usually decrease the MSE. So MSE is a mean square error, and begging has little effect on bias. So if the bias is uh, good or low, then begging will not increase the bias to be worse. Yeah. Okay, so maybe now the question becomes, can we do averaging and we also want to reduce bias? Okay, so because if we do begging, then the bias, if the bias is high, then doing begging will not reduce the bias. So it will still be, uh, it will still have a high bias. even if the performance is better yeah, because the variance is reduced. So there is a solution for that and that is called boosting, which we will discuss in the next video. All right, thank you for joining me for begging and I hope you enjoy this video. So we'll talk about boosting next. I'm Handy Irawan. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.